Today I'm cooking uh, omelets this morning and I'm looking forward to it. I haven't had uh, omelets in a while. I was eating them uh, down south, Dominican and uh, Mexico, which I miss. It's so cold. It's minus nine today here in Toronto. So I'm going to put some uh, scallions in here. We have two eggs and a bit of milk and also uh, some mushrooms. And I'm actually going to add some more uh, scallions. And I got the, the fry pan uh, heating up here. You don't really want to put it on higher than seven. You don't want to burn anything, but you want to make sure that it's uh, heated up. And I think I'll put all of the mushrooms in. Uh, I love mushrooms and scallions. And then I'll put some cheese in. Oh, cheese is my favorite ingredient for the omelet. So I'll put quite a bit of cheese in here. It looks like it's a mix of the, the mozzarella and the, uh, the cheddar. So I'm just going to mix this around here first. I have a fork here just to, to mix the ingredients around a bit. And this looks like it's a pretty stuffed omelet now. So uh, what I'm going to do then is um, put it here on the, uh, the fry pan. And you can hear it sizzling. It's uh, pretty hot. The fry pan is. It's heating up here. So uh, yeah, give it a few minutes here. you got to let it... Um, Start cooking here, maybe gets a little bit of brown around the edges. It's jam packed full of the ingredients. So really you can put uh, anything you want in an omelet, but uh, if you have too many ingredients, maybe uh, you wouldn't like it and then too little isn't enough. Like uh, just a cheese uh, omelet, I wouldn't like that. So I like um, several ingredients anyways. It seems to be perfect with the, the cheese, the omelets, and the, uh, the scallions, which is the green onions. I'm just going to cook this here. Just uh, going around the edges here, cooking the eggs. And remember, it's not scrambled eggs, so you don't want to move it around too much. You don't want to be uh, moving it around and end up turning it into scrambled eggs. So if you have any ideas as well, you can always please comment down below on my uh, video. Any other ingredients you think that would be good? Sometimes I like to uh, to cook with pepper too and to add pepper right into the fry pan. But then other times it's better just to put pepper to taste after you cook it and see how much more pepper you would like. And you can keep adding the pepper then after you're already eating it. I don't think I want too many spices. I'm not going to put any spice in salt. I wouldn't recommend adding uh, any salt at all. It already has enough taste in salt. You know it isn't uh, good for you. I don't think uh, it's not ready to flip it yet. You can even add some more cheese since it's my favorite ingredient. So let's put some more cheese. You can put it on top of the omelet here and then we're going to flip it anyway so it's still going to end up being inside the omelet. But I love how they do it down south and they have those huge uh, fryers. If you've ever been down to the uh, resorts down um, Mexico and Dominican and it's so cool there's like a huge lineup where all the the omelets are oh I love them so much just uh, going around the edges here where most of the egg is of the omelet looks like it's cooking here uh, pretty well so you can just uh, turn it over yeah here we go So yeah, that's what I'm just going to, to cook it on the side here and uh, then it'll be done. So uh, that's it. Bye for now.